Robert lets go of his balloon and the balloon starts rising vertically at a constant speed of six feet per second. Mom, who's standing 18 feet from the child, is looking directly at the balloon, which was originally in her horizontal line of sight. Uh, starts running toward the child. The mom starts running toward the child at a constant speed of five feet per uh, second and keeps looking at uh, straight at the balloon as it's rising. Uh, let Y be the vertical distance between the child and the balloon, so that's Y. And, and um, in feet, um, now express the distance between mom and the balloon, D as an expression in terms of X and Y. So this is between mom and balloon, that's D. And I can see that this is a, um, basically vertical um, between X, the X distance and Y distance. Therefore, I have a, tri a right triangle and by Pythagorean, and D squared is equal to X squared plus Y squared. And so D is going to be plus minus x squared plus y squared, but I realize D is the distance and square root is a um, positive value, so I just go with x and square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay. The next thing is asking me, let x, the distance from mom, of mom from the child, as uh, express x, the the next thing is telling me express x, the distance of mom from the child, as a function of t time in seconds. That means in terms of t only. So how do I do that? Let's go back uh, and see what the information is telling me. Mom is standing 18 feet, so the original distance is 18 feet, but she starts running at any, any time t, the distance is changing. And um, and starts running toward the child at five feet per second. So there is the 18 feet, the original. Um, that's that's the um, basically. If you think about um, the function of uh, function that tells you uh, the distance according to. to um, constant velocity, there's the original distance, and then you basically hear the distance is decreasing by five feet. So there's a minus five times t. So again, um, because velocity is constant, And um, what we know is the uh, distance is going to be a linear function of time, and velocity is the rate. Um, velocity is constant, and um, and in here because distance is decreasing, velocity is negative. So, and then it's a linear function. You have to, at t equal to 0, x of 0 is equal to 18. Therefore, that's, that's how the equation comes about. 18 is the original distance uh, minus, the, um, basically, this is the rate times t. Now, the next question is asking express y as a function of t. Balloon is just rising and started from zero down here and rising and the distance is increasing at six feet. So that's just six t. Now express d as a function of t uh, in terms of t. I know how to relate d to x and y in the first part. Now I have to replace x and y by the function of t they are. And so I get um, 18 minus 5. 5t, which is x to power 2, plus y, which is 6t to power 2.
this cannot be simplified any further. Um, I mean, it can, the square root cannot be simplified any further. It has to remain in there because what's under the square root is not complete square. Um, and so you can, the, the most that you can do is basically go 18 to power 2 uh, minus 2 times 18 times 5t uh, plus 25t plus 36t squared. But this is not necessarily, this is not, you don't have to. It's not necessary. to do this. So the actual answer should be just that uh, what is right there in this spot.